how to set up your blog. So we're using Adobe Adobe Creative Cloud. It used to be called Adobe Spark. Some of you may have used this one before. So you're gonna click on that link. Now Adobe is brilliant. You've got all these different apps. If you click on the top right hand side, these are all really, really useful when you become a teacher. And obviously when you're in a university as well, as you can see some of these, there's document clouds. You have to send any documents, especially to agencies. There's the cloud you can use. There's different things to touch up photos, for example. There's stock. So if you wanted to use some images from stock, you can use those. Adobe Sign's really useful. You might use that for packages. Now, what we're interested in is Creative Cloud and Creative Cloud Express. And the difference between both of those, the Creative Cloud is something that you download for your computer. We're just going to use Creative Cloud Express. So you just log in with um, your normal login. So let's go back. So Creative Cloud looks exactly like Adobe Spark with a few little touch-ups, as you can see here. Loads of things you can do with this. So Instagram Stories, you can, all of you I know, are, well, there's a few of you that are influencers, you'll be loving these Instagram Stories and Instagram Posts. There's all these different things you can use inside and outside of university. Loads of different things. I would suggest that you use within the blog. So for example, you could use some posters. So you could use this one, for example. It could be, I don't know, blog post one, and it's a title that you in, you upload for your first blog. Loads of things you can have a play around with here. You could set backgrounds, again, which you could save to your computer and then upload to your blog. Obviously, the more that you can upload to your blog, the more marks you can have accessibility to. Again, it might be really useful for your, if you're on placement. Um, I know some of you have been asked by teachers because they suggest because you're in university, you might know digital things. So you could be making things for after school clubs, for example. Yeah. OK. In terms of what you need to do, this plus sign here, you're going to hit that. There's all these different things you can do for free with this. But we're interested in web page. We're going to hit the web page and it looks exactly like the blog we have had before. So you can add titles. You can have my a ole blog then you put your name make sure you put your name and don't put my name and then obviously you can if I get rid of that you can add in your photo you can add in text you can add in buttons for links you can add in videos photo grids glide shows split screen again you don't get marks for the layout but obviously you know, you, the whole point of this is you get some experience at making a blog. If you're going to be working in education, you're probably going to be writing online. So in some capacity. So this is just really, really good examples and really good experience for you. Again, really good for your PGC application. You can mention that. Again, look to try and maximize the marks here. We're looking for a lot of multimedia. Obviously, the more marks will be awarded for your own multimedia. So if you can make your own posters, if you can make your own videos, if you could use examples of your um, yoga videos, your science videos, you can put those in. Again, photos of sessions. If you haven't got many photos, go on to my Twitter, go on to the Cardiff Met Primary Education Studies Twitter. I've taken loads of pictures. Again, put them, include them in your blog. When you've finished and you're happy with it, now, I've suggested, and I definitely cannot strongly recommend this, uh, recommend this, oh, I can't speak this morning, I can't recommend this higher, do your blog on Word, upload that on your pro format, because people have had, this is a web browser, people have lost work, and obviously the university regulations, we can't accept that, you know, you just say that we, work has been lost, we've told you you need to upload on Word, and then I would copy and paste into the blog format. I know it takes a bit more time. It's good practice. You know, you do not want to be losing, especially pupils' work. So make sure that it's saved. You've got to back up somewhere, whether it's Word or whatever you're comfortable using. Once you've done all that, you have to press publish and share link. The shared, it will spit out then a link. So you can see here, publish and share. Um, <clears throat> and you press create link. It'll then create the link. You copy and paste that and include that in your pro forma. I'm not going to press click create link here. You know, I've just made this up. There's no need for me to do it. 
really, really important that you do that. Without publishing it, we have no access to your blog. We can't mark your blog. You won't be able to get any marks for this assessment. So double, double check. Also double check that it works. I would send it to a friend. They can check and they can, and you can check theirs. Really important that you do that. If you've got any questions about creating the blog, any issues related to the blog, please let me know in the seminars. But that is how you set up a blog and how you publish it.